Hey, what's up, you? Yeah, hey, what's up? Hey, guys, welcome back to Isaac. And I'm gonna show you how I'm version 2 Friday Night Funko Voice Friday Night. So, the last one had a bit of had, had a bit issues when I was recording stuff. Like, here, watch. You're gonna hear an echo of my voice. But like, ah. Uh, Alright, so, like, it's fine now, but. Let me lower this down. Okay. Huh. Why is it fine now? Wait. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Alright. That's cool. Alright. Shut up. So, when you're recording. Okay, let's start off with step one. The voice, the, your, the vocals, the vowels. So you're gonna want to record like A E I O U. It's your choice if you want to have the like like the A or just A or like like you know. Fuck you. So let's let's record stuff. Let's. I'm gonna mute this. So I won't hear myself. So you want. A banana so let's record ah all right here we go so just record stuff like and make, make them a little bit long if you want unless you're like making them short so go like e e a o They don't have to be those exact rules, but like that's what I use. Cause it sounds it sounds kind of cooler. Uh, let's cut this. Now that you have that, I can turn this off. So now you have. <clears throat> but I'm gonna put more effort into this little tutorial, so that's why. So like, let me turn OBS up a bit so you can hear it. Uh... All right, so here you have Isaac. So just trim it all the way up so it could like go to from the beginning and stuff like So now go here, go to chop and put dull auto slicing. That'll just chop them up by themselves. But, like it'll attempt to. So you're just gonna wanna like you know like crop them correctly. This won't take a while. This won't take too many. Alright, let's I'm not gonna, yeah, like, see, like, it's dull, it doesn't work that well, but it does its job, or it tries to. It's like a baby. It tries to walk, but it can't. So it walks. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. So, now you have your things. You, uh, let's put them like this. Now. They don't have to be out of tune, but like, or not yet at least. So, for the samples, select them all, and then go to one fourth and just copy like maybe four times, like one, two, three, four. And now it'll have a little click in the beginning. Like, all right. So now you you can see that some are louder than the others, like this one. Louder, and it goes from low. You can fix that. Uh, I'll link the VST in the description, but let's see this. There's this thing called um, Erida's Maximizer. I don't know if I read that right, but who cares? You're fat. So, I already I already have this plugin in, and I'll show, I'll leave the plugin in the description too, or the preset. You're, you're, you're gonna want to open that in the presets, and it'll kind of sound lower now. The point is, it lo it's like a limiter. It like, um, does stuff. See now, that was not that loud. And now, open the limiter. Put the gain up, like all the way. Why not? Who cares, right? And actually, no, that was probably not a good idea. Up to like the very top there, not the knob all the way. Then open the limiter again. This is where all the effects are gonna go. Like, and then. For the auto tune stuff, it'll be easy. Turn this cell thing a little bit down. And with that purple um thing, uh, like little like 
bars are is how much of the audio clip it took off from it being like too high or too low. So now some should be even. You can see the O's, the, the O's a little bit too low, so you can lower up the gain from the first limiter. Turn the cell more down. And you can see that the little bars on top are a little bit more even now for, for uh, each vowel. You, can, you could also just put normalize and that'll probably fix a few. And rig it like that. I didn't make these samples perfect, but who cares. So now that you have that, you're gonna wanna just export it as a wave thing. So just like, name it, who cares, dude. Knock yourself out right now. Uh, oh yeah, if you wanna add like effects to your voice, like, like um, let's, let's pretend I wanted Crusher. Cause who cares, you're gonna put all the effects here. And then, then just just um, export it again. But since I don't want to do that, it's just want I just want my voice. So now that you have that, just drag, uh, open another thing, drag that in. Now you're gonna want to just auto tune them. Just go here, pitch corrector. And you can see, or yeah, you just turn center all the way up. Variation, uh, if, if you want, turn it all the way down to have more straight, like more straight lines, like. Eh, but if you keep it up, it'll go like eh. And that'll, it'll just still be the, the original, but just auto tune. I, I just like to turn it down a bit. So make sure they're, um, or when you record, you're, you don't have to, but um, I like to pitch them down um, to C4. And what I usually do, since I don't know like keys and stuff, I just go, what's the first note of Megalovania? And it's this one right here. And the second note, like, it, Megalovania goes doo-doo, and then goes doo-doo, and that's C4, that's the, like, like the root note, I guess. So you have that, you want to export it, and then... You don't need this anymore, now that you have the auto-tune one. All right, now you just nope. leave a little space so it won't like interfere with the last sample. And then Control C and just Control B as much times as you want. I'm just gonna do it four, but you guys can do it as much as you want. Just try not to put that much. And once you do that, just uh, M uh, export it as an MP3 and just call it something very appropriate. <coughs> I want soda. Very cool. Now you're gonna want to open another one, and then just drag in ass, and then. So yeah, now they're all there. Now you're gonna want to open the pitch corrector again, and here is where you can like, uh, you know, audit some stuff. So I usually write this for the first root note. I put it an octave lower, and then I just go from there. Eh, eh. So yeah, just do that. Until like, you run out of notes. But it, if you make it too high, it'll like sound weird. That's why I didn't do mine too high, because like, it sounds kind of weird. Oh yeah, it also loops for some reason, so that could be useful. Like, Alright, oh, oh yeah. Once you do, you're done with that, you're gonna wanna press this little button right here, and that does this. Now that it's there. Alright, and once you're here, once you have that, you can close new tone. I'll I'll leave this in the description too, but it's called Ozone Imager. So if you press that, you come up with this, and you'll go like, Hey Isaac, what's that? Not to worry, I'm gonna teach you. Not that much, but who cares. So turn this all the way up. 
And if you turn this up, it'll sound more like stereo like. But if you pitch it, but if you turn it all the way down, it's mono. It's yeah, it's mono, and that makes it more like better. I mean, that better in my opinion. But you, you could like keep it up to like a bit more roll body. But here's like. Yeah, and then once you have that, you can export it a little bit louder, and then just export it as an MP3 again. Replace it with. You're not to replace it. But I'm replacing it because I'm too lazy to name it something else. And then, yeah, every VST I use here, I'm gonna leave in the description along with um, other stuff. But yeah. Oh yeah, wait, hang on. Open um. And the channel rack opens lie sex. Get it? Sex. It's funny. Alright, you can turn that off because it's annoying. So now you just want to press. So it usually does a very bad job, but sometimes it does good. Like here, I have feeling it's going to do a bad job. It's not that bad. Now, all you gotta do is clean it up. Like, JJ, uh, I, I was watching JJ do this once, and I was like, wow, I didn't think of that. So, look for the start of the note. The start of the note is when you don't want to delete. The rest that are um, not like at, at the beginning of the of the starting note, you want to delete because they're just annoying. It'll, go, it'll stop there and the next note will be the same. But you don't want that, you just want an entire full note. So just like clean it up. I'm just gonna like speed this up a bit. Yeah. There we go, and like, watch an example for the high note, it's gonna have like a little like, ah! it's gonna sound retarded, like, that little like, kind of has like a, it, it, it kind of has like, like, like a small, um, effect for, it, like, like a small attack effect, like, once you're done with that, um, just go on to save it as a preset, I'm not gonna do that, cause like, I don't feel like it, but to save it as a preset, you go to the top left, save preset as, you can save it wherever you want, and just call it, whatever you want so there we go now when you load in um slices again right click or not yeah right click look for the thing and then there it is and now you can like do music wow And then like, a tip for like voices, like when you're making voices, and they sound too plain like... Like, yeah, it, 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 it just sounds like plain and boring, make it sound cooler, so, uh, just do like... Like, do like little slides. A little bit shorter, right? So yeah, like slides can like do a lot of stuff. But if you make it sound too weird, it'll sound all squiggly. What? So if you just do that repeatedly, it'll sound squiggly and weird. Ooh. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. But like, knock yourself out. I I I do that sl those slides a lot. Here, let me ignore that SLP. Let's go here. Let me show you an example. 
Yum, 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 yum. And then, example of the voices. This is another thing I made. So yeah, like slides and voices can um make this the the voices feel more like alive, I guess. But yeah, that's the tutorial version two better. If you have questions, just like tell me. I'm like, I'll answer them or stuff like that. I'll do stuff. If you have questions, fuck you.